Hey guys and gals, let's build the Monkey King Ultra Mech by Lego Monkey Kid. <laughs> Set number 80045 contains roughly 1,700 five bricks, so this is pretty much what it is. And this is something I normally would never buy or nor put together, but it was provided to me by the Lego group for review. So let's take a look at the manual here. We're just going to kind of go through a little bit of it. And... As you can see, we got several numbered bags. There's 15 in total, so my goal is to probably try to do five of these in each installment. So, uh, and this tan page color is just <laughs> making this build not too pleasing already. And there is stickers with this set too. So we're obviously going to start with bag one, and each portion of this is divided up in its own individual bags. It's not like it's, um, you know, uh, like three bag number ones and 17 bag number two. So here's the print work right here. And then we got this here as well. It's more like a heavy-duty vinyl. So, yeah, I mean... <laughs> Uh, 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 disclaimer here, belly aching alert. So you know what's going to happen. <laughs> and yeah, so let's get started on this. And I'm not sure what we'll be doing on this right now. We're just going to go with the flow here and see where we're going. Um, so obviously we're going to be building the figures and stuff. And I have a bunch of tutorials I would love to start working on now, but this well, this has to come first. <laughs> and it's not a bedside build, it's after you, it's actually an afternoon build today. When I was doing the parts review, I was just yawning through like half this build. It was not even it was nothing pleasing. So what am I doing now here is um well, building Lego sets. I have 23 offers. Actually, this is one of them, so I got 22 left that I got to do. And as you can tell, though, this is going to be one of those little small Lego sets that, you know, with lots of little pieces, something big with lots of little pieces. So I'm going to be focusing on this. And I think, yeah, we'll have to open this one up. Lego has been notorious for wasting ba uh, plastic on these little bags that I end up tossing out anyway. You really can't use these. I know there's Bricklink sellers that use the bags for uh, reselling parts, which is cool, but I'm not a seller. I just buy parts and hoard them up. <laughs> Alright, so... Those are pretty cool candles. Oh, I thought those were candlesticks. What is this? Um... I don't know what these are. I'm not into all this theme, so if anybody can correct me on this, you're more than welcome to. So I got that done, and making sure we're still in frame here. I had to clean off some of the memory off the camera because it was full. Um, so I don't know how far I want to get on these installments. This may be broken down into several days. Uh, you know, we'll see how it goes. And we got our minifigure and stuff. So, yeah, I've been getting requests already for the, what's that thing called that I reviewed, the, uh, not, not reviewed, but, what was that thing I built, the tiny house, and I've been getting requests now for building guides, mainly a building guide over a video, a video tutorial, and there will be both, but, well, I have this big monstrosity in the way. I gotta find a mini figurehead. So this is what we'll be doing today for the next several days. And yeah, yeah. This is uh, by the time you're watching this, it's in the middle of December. But right now, uh, it's Thanksgiving weekend. I think today is the 25th or the 26th. I don't know. And really, at this point. Uh, I'm trying to get a bunch of stuff done before I go back to doing my main work in February. So there we go. We got one thing done. <laughs> and oh, this is all minifigures. Oh. oh. Okay. It's all small pieces anyway, so it's going to be 
not too appealing here. And we got capes we got to put on. Matter of fact, I don't know what I did with the cape. I just had it when I was. Oh, here it is. It's in here. I'm trying to find the torso, the legs. The sad thing about doing these is I'm just like I said, I'm not really into this theme. I always give everything a whirl. So we're gonna see what the build quality is. Is this entertaining? You know, does it? Uh... Okay, the purple. The purple goes inside, and the black goes on the outside. I thought it would be the other way around, but no, it is not. Yeah, while all my buddies are out skiing and snowboarding. And these guys live in different states than I do, so they're doing all the fun stuff. And uh, I'm working on this. Although a lot of guys in the Lego community are like, oh, well, you're lucky. You get to stay at home and do Lego. <laughs> like, no, that's not, that's like a punishment to me. I don't want to do this. You know, I'd rather be outside. Oh, I've got to put that on there right here. Got to take the head off and hope the cape doesn't fall out. So this is one of those fully custom minifigures that's highly decorated and I got to spend a bunch of time putting together. You know. So I'm sure if you're into this theme, this is going to be a really good build. You know, so we're going to try to make the best out of it, anyways. And I need to find a sword now. Well, we got to put together the sword right there. So what happens is that. You know, I'm just, I get, I get those, uh, you know, like I got a few fans that have been saying, how, how's the ambassador network? Like, is it really involved? And yes, it's, you can see right now I'm doing stuff. These are sets that I normally would never buy. So obviously that's pretty much what you get at this point. And yeah, that does fit inside that little tube there. And... So you, at least about first five minutes is just the minifigures, I think. Now this is pretty much broken up into other... Like there's a bunch of figures throughout the build. So this is not what we're just doing today. Okay, we're starting to build this craft thing. Okay, well let's get started on it here. Now this I can manage real quick. So what my, my goal is, though is to see if I can get bags one through five done in this installment here. And we're going to proceed on and see if we can build a bunch of this and get it done today. Yeah, so I got a bunch of tutorials. Like I still got about 300, 350 left to do. I've got a bunch. I've lost count on them, but... And one of my fans asked or said, well, do you get a good source of parts out of these? Something like this, probably 5%, if I'm lucky, of pieces that I could use, so not really. <laughs> these are these are just, I, I'm given samples just to review, so this is not really a, something that you could really build something else out of. I'm sure if you're really creative with this theme, you probably could. Okay. And... The whole goal about it is now is just, like I said, I got so many offers. Like, there's one that's supposed to come in and be done on the 29th. And it won't be here until the 28th, so I got to do one of those. I have to sit down and build it all in one day, which I don't like doing. So this is, and this is where it's starting to feel more like, well, I hate to say it, a job. <laughs> that's why I look forward to building my own stuff and... Oh yes, uh, I've been going through old hard drives, and I've been finding a bunch of the old uh, Lego update videos on houses and stuff that I had never released. So I've been posting those up. S surprisingly, like five or six percent of my audience says, "No, I don't want to see those," where most people do. And I really want to get back into building large homes again. You know, get back into building those creative homes, and. You know, well, I can't do it now, obviously, <laughs> but 
Let's see here. Now for this being rated for 10 years of age and up, this should be a very smooth build. So, it should be a very smooth build. It should be very easy to put together. Okay. So, the goal with this is today is to finish everything up as much as I can. Right now I just got done writing up a manual. It was for a building uh, a building exercise and the reason why I'm getting the building exercises done as manuals as well is like I said in the past I really don't want to have to rely on video tutorials anymore. It's Video tutorials are getting to be kind of old school. They're kind of primitive and I'd rather just be able to go through and pull up manuals with a certain brick or a certain building technique. Like, let's say I'm looking for a, an, in, an outset door. I can pull up all the projects with different styles of doors, and I can pull that up from there. Okay, well, that's kind of colorful. When I was doing the part exploration on this, this set does have a lot of parts for, for vehicles. So I could see a lot of cars and stuff. There's no wheels or anything with it, but a lot of these... Um, angular plates that you could use for them. Okay. Yeah, we'll see what we can do here. Of course, I'm going to save the video <laughs> after I get done with the... Uh, uh, when I get done with each uh, bag. And I'm using those butter containers. Although I've been getting requests to do live builds of these, like live on video and chatting and stuff. Unfortunately I can't do that because these are a, a pre-release and I can't stream them live as that would be considered a leak. I did ask a question though about my ambassador experience and a lot of people, I don't know, I haven't looked, it was like 90%, I can't remember that wanted to hear my experience. I think I'm going to break that video down into several portions. It'll be on my main channel though, because it's part of the, the whole gig. On how to get that done, and then... We'll see what we can do here. Alright, so so far, yes, this is... If you're not a fan of really tiny parts, you know... <laughs> This set is probably something you may want to stay away from. You, you know, and I, I, I know a lot of people don't like my honesty, but I'm being honest. If you just don't like doing small things, you know, this is probably something you don't want to you don't want to do. <laughs> you know, some people do. Let's see, is this a mirror here? I don't even know. Let's see here. Hard to say. Anyways, though, we got sub sub steps. And this is something I've been doing with my manuals, too. Learning how to do that. Oh yeah, and this is something that a lot of people don't know. If there's a build that you'd like to see in a printed guide, let me know. I may already have it done. Uh, if it's one of my big, large houses, I probably don't have it done. But if you say, see something you want, let me know. And it's not going to be free, guys. So <laughs> yeah, just uh, if, you, if you say if you say you're if you want something, be really serious about it because I'm really pressed for time. If it's something I already have done. Um, I'll let you know. Um, there's two places that I'm going to be putting stuff up on. Patreon is going to have the whole library, and then Rebrickable is going to have a uh, requested assortment of things. And there's actually a tile that goes in there. So if you request a building guide for something on Rebrickable, I can put it up there. It, it's only if I have it done and in key. Well, oh, there it is. Yeah, I sound tired. It's just you don't know how relaxed I am right now. So that that will be that. Let's 
Alrighty. Yeah, this is something I normally would never put together in a million years. I don't know what that's for. Pretty cool, though. Don't know what it does. <laughs> I don't know what it does. Alright. Okay, I gotta make sure I hold it the right way. I only want to do this one time. I don't want to do this a bunch of times. So it's like that. Okay. Okay, I was looking at a mirror. No, we just have to build another one of these hinge things here. So, so far, the build experience so far is keeping my interest. This is not something I normally would ever buy, like I've said, but it is keeping my interest. I think because it's the color palette, you know, red, yellow, and stuff like that. It feels more like, this is more like something you'd put together in the summertime. But, um... I think it's supposed to go like that, yeah. But we already know the stickers are coming up. Wait. Am I missing a piece here? I think it's one of these plates that go in here. Let me take a look. Yes, I forgot to put it in there. All right. And despite it's almost December when I'm filming this, it's like in the 70s, like mid to high 70s here. It's kind of uh, unbearable right now. It's just, I, I know half the country's been snowed in and cold and freezing and it's raining and stuff. Matter of fact, I'm in an area where fireplaces have been banned, so you can't even burn a fire if you wanted to. I mean, of course, it's too hot for that, but, you know, go we'll figure there. I'll keep that, keep the rant on that down to a minimal, a minimum. <laughs> All right. Get one of those Technic nails. And uh, we got to make two of these. Uh, I'm going to make both of these now. They're mirrors anyways. They show you in the book here. Before you commit to putting things together, always build both of them first. It just depends on your mood and stuff. It makes it a little easier. And it looks like it goes probably here. I mean, it's the only place it would go anyway, so. Okay. Now, this is probably going to be a very slow video. Yeah, but when you get a lot of review offers coming in, you just can't, uh, you can't sit on them too long. Like, this is just, like, I have two or three other sets that need to be done before this, but they're not here right now, so instead of just wasting time, I'm going to, you know, get it done quickly. Quickly and promptly. And looks like this goes here. All right. Yeah, but I'm glad that these videos help everyone out with building this stuff. So I'll try to, like I said, I'm going to try to keep the rants down to a minimum. I just never figured, you know, anybody really watching these for, you know, help and stuff. So that kind of thing. All right, we need another, already got enough bricks on there, huh? Okay, making sure I'm in frame there for you. I don't want to deprive you of your viewing pleasures. <laughs> Okay, let's get that in there. So, so far it looks good. And more of these angular plates. Yes, like I said, this is a great source for angular plates. You get tons of them in different colors. So if you're interested in like building cars and stuff like that, and there you go. Um, I'm not really much into mechs like I have mentioned, but so far this is a pretty interesting build so far. Of course, I haven't ran across the nasty stickers yet. So I think we're just building the supports for this. Okay. I'd like to see a few more of these made here, these special profile bricks. 
different sizes. Yeah, with all the holiday stuff, I, uh, I got one of those holiday GWP, you know, gift with purchase sets. Those are always fun to put together. Not when they're on a deadline, though. It's like, hurry up and get it done. All right. Okay, we got a mirror we got to build. So, the one on the left is the one I'm copying from the book. So, that's what it's going to be like. Okay, blast right through this. I wish this camera told me the time on how much I have been recording. Okay. Well, that's it. And then well, it's this guy here. Yeah, make sure you keep track of your sub steps because your sub steps are going to get it's going to get pretty the set's going to get pretty involved here. At least it's bright cheerful colors. It's not something dark and dingy and stuff. Like that Black Panther set. Those were not really fun to put together, in my opinion, anyways. And, uh, just not really my theme. Some people said they like the builds. A lot of people want the figures only. I don't blame them. The figures were really nice out of those sets. It's just doing this here. And just thought of something. I think I may have bags two and three backwards, so I'm hoping to find those correctly and stuff. All right. Okay, so far so good. I, I don't know what it, I don't know what we're doing yet, but we're getting there. And then this probably goes like that. That's what it's showing here. Oh, okay. These are always cool for like trains and stuff. I'm not really into building trains. I'm thinking about it. It's just gathering up all the parts to make trains. Then we got one of these special type of plates here. So, and that great plate here. Why don't you just tell me to put both of these in at one time? Would have been better. Oh, we're not going to put a sticker on that? Oh, I hope not. I need tiles. <laughs> I need tiles for all kinds of projects, and that's. It, Stickered. Uh, I hope there's no stickers on it. I mean, we obviously saw the sticker sheet. It's staring right at me on the right over here. But I'm hoping those will go on to some parts that I don't really care much for. Okay. Alrighty. Oh, we got a sub sub step. Sub 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 step. Alrighty. Let's get that out of the way here. So my goal is, is to probably keep these about an hour or so per chunk um, to get them done. Try to keep these very short. Well, keep them a minimum of an hour, no more than an hour and a half. If I have to do two or three bags, so be it. It means that the video will be dragged out a bit longer. It means I can, it'll give me a chance to stay sane through this. Sometimes it doesn't really tell you. It says it goes, I think, here. Sometimes the arrows here are kind of confusing. So you have to look at the next step here to see it. So, yeah, you just have to look at the steps here to find out exactly how that goes together. And I've been doing this for a long time using these inserts here for my stuff. So, um, 
This goes like, does it go all the way on there? Yes, it does. It's not done yet, but it shows that there's stars here. So, I don't know. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to uh, get as much done as I can on this booger tonight. And then some of these pieces are pretty well hidden in there. Like, don't forget this. The book barely shows it. I'll show you. you got to put that ingot in there. Um, oh, it does show it. Never mind. Those little call-outs there. So, we got to be careful where those are going to go. I don't want to mess up on that. Alright, so, I hope I'm not working too fast for you guys and gals, but I really want to get into doing the tutorials and stuff. You know, this is not something I would, like I've mentioned before, not something I normally would build. I know when I looked at the box, though, it looked pretty interesting. But, you know, it's like going through, when I was doing the brick exploration, I was getting bored. But you have to... You have to understand that when I do the brick explorations, that that and the build experience are two different things. And there's a lot of snot methods that you can learn from in here too. So, you know, there's a lot of snot methods in here. If you want to learn new building strategies and techniques, there you go. And then this goes on the top. Okay, this is not too bad looking. So this doesn't bend or anything. This probably goes like that. I don't have any of these windscreens like this in red, which is pretty well. It's transparent red. Well, it doesn't quite close down on that. Or is that how it's supposed to be? We'll see here. Well, it doesn't show any more. And it has a bunch of these other things, too. So I don't know what these go to. Maybe they're just extras. Well, I hang on to these. And... Looks like part you'd see for... Like a, like a crown symbol or something. Like, maybe put that on a key or something like that. So, so far this is what I have left for... Bag 1. And... This is what we have built so far. <laughs> and we haven't used the brick separator yet, which is really cool. Now let's move on to bag number two. And we'll set this stuff off to the side. And so far we haven't ran across any stickers yet, <laughs> which is good. So right now the video is about 27, 28, maybe 29 minutes. So. And it doesn't look too bad, right? This container is about half full. Well, looks can be deceiving, because guess what? It's probably mostly small stuff. So let's get our manual keyed up here. I think I got the right bag, because this one doesn't show a whole lot. Okay, I'm going to pre-go through everything. See if there's mirrors in here. If I can't instantly tell... Actually, we're just building in a U, so I can't do anything about that. So let's just, let's get started. Right now, I'm doing some checksums on a little program that I'm working on right now. And, you know, kind of getting stuff done. Not totally work-related, but just for my own amazement, my own amusement. There we go. That's the right word. All right. And then we got two of these here. Got done, finally finished up one more building guide. I'm rewriting a template that I've been using to make the building guide experience a little more automated so I can get them done quicker. It's still the same quality though, and I still manually check things. So it's not like you're going to get some subpar manual. I'm going to check everything by hand. Make sure the graphics are easy to read. If it's something I have to scratch my head on and go, hmm, what did I do there? Then that tells me that I 
didn't really do my job, so we'll see what we can do about that here. Yeah, so. Right. Man, I would really love to put together a holiday set than this. <laughs> It goes right there. All right. In one of my videos, I was going through my older videos. I called it. I used to call this vomit. This uh, um, sand yellow. I would call it vomit because it looks like a vomit color. <laughs> I was. It was one. Of, it was one of my house updates that I found, and it was like. I said, yeah, I'm going to think about using this vomit color for the floors. And, yeah. Huh. I've seen some people use these for cars. Just for the little pattern here. Well, we don't see it. So it's obviously going to be used for what it's intended for. Those dreaded stud launchers. Alrighty. Making sure I am recording there. I've been, one time I think I got a little sloppy one time and I caught myself. But you just don't know. Let me make sure. That's softly just kind of just tacked on there, huh? Okay, I missed a few pieces. I was like, boy, those don't really look like they're going to make any contact. Well, no. you got to take a couple of these here and shove them in there. So, yeah, that was... My mistake there, I should have read a little more carefully. That's like, man, you'd sneeze and that thing would just come flying off. And, well, let me fix that up right now, huh? Okay. And, I don't know, I just saw that. Yeah, lots of good parts, though, for making vehicles in this set, so, yeah. And so far, even though if it kind of just doesn't look like my style of build, it's, right now, I'm not lying, it's sort of enjoyable, you know, I mean. <laughs> at least I'm not, at least I'm not like one of those guys that lies to you and tells you this is the best thing, because even I don't know. I don't, I, I can't answer that, because I'm just starting out and, you know, so we're looking at this set from a new builder's perspective, if you want to think of it as that way there. Yeah, I kind of wish, though, it would snow out here. I hear a lot of people in town going, oh, no, no, we don't want it to snow here. We want it to be always 80 degrees all the time. And I think the other day it was, on Thanksgiving Day out here was like 80-something degrees, is out putting up uh, Christmas lights and <laughs> talking about sweating. Oh man, it was brutal outside. I mean, it was pretty brutal. And some people, uh, let me flip that around there. Some people I know like the heat, not me. <laughs> not me at all. Probably that European blood in me. All right. Okay. I got those in there. At least this is somewhat manageable parts. It's not like little one by ones. I mean, yeah, there's some in here so far, but not like it's. It's not like a micro build where it's just I, that. That one micro build I did. That thing was still giving me nightmares. That little haunted. Disney house. That was uh, that's still by far one of the worst sets I've ever had to put together. The build experience was really poor, in my in my opinion, anyways. You know, you may enjoy it. I just couldn't get into that. Yeah, I've been really wanting to get into the holiday spirit this year. And I'm going to show you something real quick. Um, the easiest way to do is put this plate here down here first. And then put these on top. Uh, just from experience, it's just easier to put on something really solid. 
and trying to mess with that. Yeah, but I got lights up on the house. I was really dreading for that one. See, I could have done a mirror of this too, but it would have done absolutely of no good to me. But yeah, I've been uh, just trying to get stuff done so I can enjoy my free time off. We'll need that, obviously. And it, oh, there it is. I need one of those upwards things. No. Now, here's something I want to point out here. When I write up manuals, I never like doing that. Because sometimes I get confused. Start with the plate first, then you put these two things on. You, I could have condensed this down really good. And it's just, you know, that's my building style there. But it makes it a lot easier than just trying to figure out what you have to do. And this time i got to remember to put these little ones on. But yeah, it just... I'm so thankful though Lego has been doing a lot of these snot bricks because they are indeed helpful in building things. Wish that stuff was around when I was a kid. Okay, so like right here they show the inset here. Well, no, I don't want to do that because that piece is going to be hard to put in as it is, so I'm just going to do it like this. So just remember, just read ahead in the manual. Alright. Oh, it's one of these heart plates. I hope I, f I didn't forget to put it on the other side here, did I? Oh, we have to rotate it. Okay, so we're so I guess we're just working our way around and we're gonna work our way back. Yes, it's got hearts on it too. Well maybe we're gonna have to cover up the little heart, huh? So we're using these ingot and these Nexonite shields to give it some give it some, you know, more of a three-dimensional texture to it. Yeah, but so far this build is uh it's relaxing. It's not it's not boring, you know, just despite of what it is, it's not boring. So that's one of the things that I'm always looking into. You know, how boring is the build? If it's keeping my interest, then yeah. Okay. And then we do the same thing over here. As long as these bags are pretty short, it's just not too terribly bad. Lego, you need to do an outline on your parts like, like I do. It makes figuring out what you put in next real easy. But yeah, this manual is kind of slow. It's doing one or two or three pieces at a time, so it's not horribly um, tedious. This is meant for a ten-year-old to put together. Which means that an adult probably can't, huh? <laughs> All right, we got to make two of these next here. Oh, I had one guy told me in one of my other videos I need to take this more seriously. Well, you know, you're on the wrong you're on the wrong profile for that. Here we just build and enjoy it. Okay. Uh oh, we got a sticker coming up. And it's on little slopes. Yuck. Oh, well, you know, you know, guys and gals, it was bound to happen sooner or later. And it's little pieces. It's not something big. So we're going to see how this goes on here. Okay. It's these little slopes here. And they go here. How would I be able to put those on there? Um... It's easier just to have, it's easier to work on something bigger. This would be probably too monstrous, so I'm just going to put these on first, which is how the manual shows you. And then we need to get sticker number two. Oh, why can't we just print those on there? It would have been cool. 
which way does they go on? Does it really matter? It doesn't. This is sticker number two. Okay, the little gold thing goes towards the bottom. I know one thing I need to do is get my lens prescription changed a bit. Um, thinking about going to full contacts pretty soon. Uh, because glasses after a while, um, it's the field of vision. This whole camera is a field of vision, right? And when you have... Um, stigmatism you have that compromise you've probably seen that video um, when I'm reading stuff I have to turn it sideways for me to read it and with uh, glasses it's hard for them to really do it but if you have and the reason I'm saying glasses because all this around here it just around the frame my eye attracts to the frame more so when you get the contacts what I was told you see everything it doesn't you don't have that compromise as bad it's a little more helpful so it's just going to be the fact of putting the contacts in and actually wearing them. <laughs> and I've been thinking about, I don't know how much it would be, but I'm thinking about changing my eye color too. I've always wanted blue instead of greenish brown or hazel, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> so I'm due for a change. And if I don't like them, well, I'll just keep my trusty old glasses. And this thing here goes inside of here. Oh, okay, so it snaps into this right here. These two uh, shafts snap in these holders. Okay, so we'll stick that right in there, and that's pretty much how it is. It's right below this lattice slope right here. And that's not really much holding this on. It feels kind of flimsy. So I think this is meant to come off. Okay, so I bet there's probably more that goes on to that. Oh, wow. Yikes! I hope that's not a sticker. That just shows you how he looks. Monkey kid. So that completes bag two. And eh, not too bad. We have a few little pieces left. Let's move on to bag number three. Let's see what we have in here. So, we got to do the minifigure and more stuff onto the ship. So far, it's not a bad build. Stickers so far have been very mild. Let's hope it's gradually, and I don't want to be sticking things on for like 20 minutes straight. And yikes, look at all the parts in there. All right, let's see here. Monkey Kid. Now we know what he looks like, too. Let's breeze through this real quick. I'm looking for duplicates. Lots of stickers coming in. we got to put this thing on here. And... So you got to build two of those, okay? And it's always good to read to read ahead in your manuals real quick. So okay, not bad. All right. So I think honestly, a lot of people will probably scarf these up for the figures. Now, if you're into parting out sets, this is probably not a. I mean, it just depends. Yeah, let's not forget the little shoulder guards, huh? So like half the video is going to be trying to find parts for this guy. Or I can just start building now, and when we find the pieces for this, we can go. I don't want to spend all afternoon trying to figure that out, huh? It's pretty simple. So, let's do the big stuff. I don't want to spend all day doing small things. If we find it, we'll, we'll finish them up. So, we got him. Oh, here's the head. And, looking for one of those things in here. Like I said, bags two and three are probably transposed, but you know I think I got the right one. This one's got the uh, 
this one's got the Freddy Krueger claws here. <laughs> yeah. I think that's Nightmare on Elm Street. I can't remember. It used to be a show. It used to be a show they used to show back, I think, in the late 80s, early 90s, called Freddy's Nightmares. And <laughs> I used to watch that at night, right before I would go to bed. It didn't give me nightmares, though, but I used to watch that and get ready to go to, you know, get everything set up for tomorrow, like the next day to go to school. Those were always kind of cool. And then there was, like, Tales from the Dark Side. And there was one called Monsters, or Munsters. It was not the black and white version, but it's more like little 30-minute segments of just, um, just random stories. And I watched a few of those, and then there was a um, Tales from the Crypt. That was on HBO. I was one of the very few kids that actually had HBO in their bedroom. <laughs> And other channels that I don't want to mention, but I used to watch that a lot. Um, watched a lot of the movies. Alright, so we need to find a nail here. Okay. At least here, and I'll show you, at least they're showing you the nail right here, which way it faces. Alright. Put that in here, and it goes through this way, but then it tells you to flip it, but it would fall out. Wait, it's supposed to go through the bottom, right there. And then take one of those glider plates, okay, and find that. Okay, I found this part to this guy, and there's the head, so we'll put that together if we get done with this step right here. So now I'm trying to find that glider plate. It doesn't show it in here though. But yeah, it does. It's dark gray. I hate worse when they start doing the little pieces first and you have these big pieces that are in the way. So you got to literally sit here for about 10 minutes trying to decipher. I got I need this, but I think it's in dark gray or black. I think that little peg is supposed to fit in there. Oh, I see it right there. Somebody was hiding it from me. So that does actually fit inside there. It's got a little bit of play, though. And then we'll put the figure together. All right. Is that the right head? Let me uh, go back here. It shows a different face than that. Huh. <laughs> the headpiece is right. It's like something you'd see in the Karate Kid. Yes, I, <laughs> I remember watching the Karate Kid growing up. and uh, That was one thing I never got into was martial arts. I just, I don't know. I didn't like the fact of uh, getting my butt handed to me. So that was something that I, I didn't uh, wanted to uh, experience. <laughs> you know, get get karate chopped or whatever. You know, I think what did they call it, the dojo or something like that? You go over there and you, they teach you how to do martial arts. I mean, it's a really good thing to have to know, but I just it just never appealed to me. I just didn't like violent stuff, you know. I like violent video games, and but not like involving breaking bones and stuff in real life. <laughs> or you're in in some kind of combat thing, and uh, next thing you know, you wake up. It's three hours later. You're laying on the mat inside the dojo, going, "What happened? I I arrived here." Getting ready to do my thing, and next thing you know, I'm laying on the ground, you know. Yeah, it's just not really my thing. Okay. What happened? <laughs> oh, that goes the other way around. Couldn't tell right here which way this... Oh, I was looking at that. Yeah, sometimes these get confusing here. 
All right. So yeah, put that together. Okay, um, so far so good. We haven't made any mistakes yet. No major mistakes anyways. And they give you two different versions of these ingots. They give you pearl gold and they give you metallic gold. So I don't know what the difference with them is, except if I put them side by side and you'll notice. So I try to stay away from metallic pieces as much as I can when I'm building my own stuff because the finish wears off and a lot of people don't have metallic gold. So I try to keep everything, like when I build my own stuff, is to keep it pretty, uh, pretty generic. All right. And then we get some corner tiles and stick those in there. So they're using these to go around this Technic shaft that is fixed. It doesn't even spin. All righty. When I was a kid, there wasn't really anything that you could do about those put a shaft through there, that was it. Um, okay, I am recording. <laughs> I don't want to be like, whoops, I forgot something there. Alright, so, oh, there it is. Okay. And... Two by two flat tile, and one of these... Hey, does this actually match up with this right here? Okay, first I gotta find it. Does it? Oh, it does, and I was hoping that would line up with it. That's not a bad idea if you wanted to make a car with something fancy like that, huh? We just need Lego to make a different different angles for that type of plate. It would be really cool. Okay. The inverted ones. Yeah, I've been looking for these. <laughs> and especially in really weird colors, so. Uh, I'll put a put a couple of those on my wish list. Maybe that's a rocking horse. Oh, we got to put stickers on that. What a waste! Because I could use those parts. Oh, well now I got to find the sticker sheet. Maybe that's a sign, huh? Oh, there it is. So, yeah, we got to put stickers on that beautiful color. Can it be something that I have millions of? No. Well, we know what's going to happen to those in a month. Those are going to get ripped right off. Jay, don't rip off the stickers when you're done. you got to save them. No, I'm ripping those puppies right off. I got that on there. Not the best job, but you know, I think this set retails for $160, and I'm just going to bluntly say it for that kind of price, this stuff should be printed. It should never be stickered. I know a lot of the kids love stickers. Yeah, see, I'm fighting stickers. There we go. Alright, we... Well, it doesn't look like I put a dent in that, huh? We got plenty more, I guess. And there's two mirrors here for these wing things, so let's get our bearings straight here. Okay. That one is the manual. This one is the reflection. So... Let's start putting it together the right way, Jay. You don't want to sloppily put it together. Okay. Why can't we put stickers on these little things? I got millions of those. I just need them in black. <laughs> I need them black for the tiny house. I didn't have them, so that's all I had. And there we go. And then they get attached to here. Yeah, I know my voice sounds a little raspy. I'm fighting over a cold right now. I'm done with it. I'm just trying to get done with it here. And then we take uh, two Freddy Krueger claws, and then we're going to put some of these in here. At least it's a nice pearl gold, you know. 
I hope these never get brittle and break apart. I have to make a, a big giant Freddy's claw. I just need one more. Matter of fact, if they were in silver, it'd be better. Just make a working claw, and just just go up to this set and just. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. All right, it goes like this. Okay, and let me shove those in there. You're gonna have to force those in a little bit, but there you go. And it goes in here. Oh, okay, so these are like little attachments. So this this is broken down where you can easily put this together. There you go. Well, it's still a... I don't know. I mean, there it is. Well, it's, well we're obviously done. We got stars, but we got plenty of parts, so we're not quite done yet with the build. Uh, make two claw pieces. At least it's nice to tell us not once, but twice. I need that because sometimes I'll just kind of forget. And so far, this thing's it feels pretty sound, doesn't it? It feels like it's going to fall apart. And no, <laughs> I'm not going to do a drop test. No, it's tempting, but uh, I don't want to waste parts and breaks and actually break a piece that I it may be hard to obtain again. Jay, Lego just gives you these. Why don't you just abuse it? Well, because Lego's expensive. And two, I'm giving up tutorial time to put this together. Do you think I'm going to do that? I may need these pieces later on for a tutorial. I can't, I can't just do that. Okay. And then these go... Okay, here's the back here. So it goes right here. I'm taking it here. It looks like it is. And since they're pretty much... Um, okay. Yes, that is correct. Um, you're putting a cross axle in that technical. I had to look at that twice there. Yeah, you're putting that in. So I don't know. Unless it's meant to be easily detached, I don't know. There you go. Make sure you're holding on to here as well when you're putting those on. You don't want to snap something off that's going to be hard to replace. And I think we're building the two engines next, so we got to make two of these. At least the book tells you that there's two. So let's get two of them going here. We'll get them done really quick. I'm just kind of curious on. I'm going to ask this. You don't. I, I know I probably won't get a response. How many of you watch these for ASMR? Like, do you watch these while you're working? I've had one. I guess one of my fans told me they watch these just as background noise. So maybe that. It, and do you watch these for like a filler noise? One person told me they watch this to fall asleep to. I, I didn't know it was that exciting. <laughs> you know. Some people actually doze off to these. Hey, it doesn't bother me. I don't find it offensive. There's a tech guy that I watch. He does a lot of restorations, and, uh, electronic restorations, and I just doze off listening to his uh, tech stuff. I, I never even really finish his His videos are like two or three hours long, so I never really get to finish them. Um, very smart man. Just, um, I mean, this guy goes in depth on troubleshooting. And I, I don't really watch Lego videos on YouTube. I mostly watch vintage tech stuff. So, yeah. And set that there. And then you need to put these in here. Okay. Okay. So you got to put this in here first. Let's do that real quick. And these are a really nice little piece. I see these for like little sports cars. Pretty cool. Like an 80s, 70s, 80s style sports car. Put that on here. Yeah, when you're building multiples, it goes fast. So this set may be one of those ones that I can just blast right through real quick. We don't know. 
I hope we'll, we'll know soon. Because I still got to edit the unboxing video. So I work on multiple parts. Like, of course, I haven't finished this yet, so I can't do the review yet. But what you're watching now is a review. You know, if you're, you're watching this right now on YouTube, this, you know, you know, if you've watched the main video, then you're watching this, this is my live notes. It's like taking notes live on video. I mean, so far, I have nothing bad to say about the build quality. The stickers have been mild. It's spaced out just right. You're not putting together 20 minifigures at one time. It is very pleased. It's, it's a very pleasant build. I'm, despite that I'm not really a fan of this, it is a very pleasant build. So I'm not struggling with it. It's the right pace for somebody who's on the spectrum like myself. And yes, for those who don't know, yeah, I am on the spectrum. <laughs> And um, it's the right pace for me. It's slow building here. Very slow. Oh, that's not too bad at all. It looks pretty good. I have a friend that, uh, a few friends that are on the spectrum. And we all do things differently. I'm like, oh, so we're normal then, huh? We do everything like that. Okay, these are pretty cool pieces here. I need to, I've seen these in transparent colors. Uh, look like these would make great umbrellas. Or maybe a top of, if you can get these in tan, like a top of a mega hamburger or something. So, I'm taking this goes here. It looks like it's the only place it'll fit. And it's just not fitting on there. Oh, there we go. It says put that cap piece on first, but you know how I am. Sometimes I don't follow the instructions. Why? Because I'm just too awesome like that and don't like to follow the build. Okay. Well, we have one of these. Did I forget something here? Huh, maybe I did. I don't know where this went. I'll have to go back and check here. Um... And these fit right on these uh, ball bearings. It shows that they're straight here. Oh, they are crooked. Never mind. I was like, I thought they went straight down. No, that's how they're supposed to be. And you're really going to have to force this. It sounds like it's going to break, but it's not. Okay. And then we have to put in these things in here, these stupid launcher things that I just despise. Now, where do they go in? Huh. Well. Okay, where do these go in? Oh, wait a minute, hold on, okay. You gotta fold these forward first. And shove these in. With the key facing upwards. Well, that fell on the floor. That's why I despise these. When I do the review, I don't really like to fire these things off. So I think it's meant to shoot this thing forward. Well, it doesn't do anything. Maybe it's a safe. Maybe that's the safety to keep it from firing off by accident, huh? Now that just doesn't want to go in. Oh, I got to put the key in the right place. Okay, it does. Yeah, I really. Yeah, this just broke off. Yeah, okay. Well, we won't be messing with that. So. I'm not sure where this went, so I'm going to have to check the manual here real fast. Shouldn't be that hard. Did I actually make a mistake? I mean, nothing fell apart. It looks normal, so... Checking for the long brown shaft. Or that could have rolled from another bag, too. No, it shows it here. Oh, wait a minute. You know what? How silly of me. This is actually um, Monkey Kid's whipping stick, huh? You know how back in the 
the old heydays where you did something wrong, grandma would grab a switch off the tree. Yeah, that's pretty much what that is. Well, it sure doesn't want to fit in his hand. But there we go. So, we got off easy there. <laughs> I just forgot to put that in there. And that's what remains for bag three. All right, I think I'm going to wrap up this installment with bag four. Open that up and see what we have in here. I have to move that off now. <laughs> For this out, see what we have in here. And let's pull up and see what we have in here for four. Is it going to be an easy one or is it going to be hard? We don't know. We already did all this. Don't shoot things at people's eyes. So now we're actually starting the actual mech here. This looks like we're building just this piece here. So I could just stop here, but we're going to continue on so this guy will just I'll just have to set it somewhere where it doesn't get broken all right so I'll put all this little stuff here and let's get going um, yeah and you know what I think this is the wrong bag because there's not a four by six plate in here so <laughs> And what happens when I do that? Usually I make mistakes. We could start bag five. I was looking at thinking, I don't have any of these pieces. So indeed it wasn't bags two and three. It was four and five that are mixed up. Well, let me go get that one real quick. Now let me put this lid on here real quick. I don't want to spill that and lose all the parts. All right, let's try this again. Let's see here. Okay, that's much better. <laughs> Whoops, blooper time. Let's put that on the blooper reel. Okay, so there we go. So this is bag four. And oh, yucky. You know, I gotta do these, but in addition to those, I gotta put these on here. And I gotta do this six times. Isn't that fun? So let's well let's start putting things on. I, we're going to have to attach some stuff anyways. So you can't really do this fast. So you're just going to have to do one at a time here and just place them on. <laughs> so, but I think this is going to be the last of this build here. Then I got to fix up for dinner. So I think what I'm going to do is do four. 8, 12, and then do 13, 14, 15 last. We'll see how the build goes. Or I may just slip bag 5, and we already know how big 5 is now. I guess we could and just do 5, 10, 15. You know, I mean, you could do it any way you want. Well, I could do it any way I want. Uh, like, I don't want to make these too grotesquely long. Unless you're having a rough time sleeping at night. <laughs> Maybe I should. Uh, some said they like these lengthy videos. All right, all right. Well, there we go. We got that done. And then, uh, oh, we're gonna put a trailer hitch on this. We're gonna be towing something with this now. And two upwards. Hang the plates. These these are a different, slightly different color, so you know which ones you're grabbing. Pretty cool. Okay, get those put on there real quick. And this manual's starting to. Oh, there was a brick hidden in there, that was why. A plate. Place that in there. And a 2x4 white brick, which is very rare in sets these days. And some 1x4 snot bricks. Place those in there. And, uh,. Well, downwards angular plates. There we go. And then the bigger ones go on the back side. Here. We got some of these gold slopes too. These are pretty cool to look at. Pearl gold, so we're going to set those there. And then that there. 
Yeah, I'm starting to get a little hungry. Alright. Okay. Um, remember when I'm building the the tiny house, I didn't have enough of these. This set comes with two. So I don't think I'll have to order any more of those. Um, usually I build like three or four campers at one time, so I'd like to have just enough to do that. I don't want to just overbuy parts. So that's pretty much what it is. Oh, wait a minute. we got to put some on that side, too. Boy, this thing is really snotted up, huh? I mean, there's just lots of angular plates in here. But at least, like I have said, this book is going really slow. It's not like you're overwhelmed. It's it's just, it's a very pleasant build so far. Build experience is pretty good. I mean, you know, I'm not into mechs, but it, it's it's a very good build experience. I don't know what's with my neighbors sometimes. They get in their car just to sit in them and they just let the engine run for like 30 minutes. They just sit in there and I think they just sit and listen to the radio or something and I know it's to each his own but uh, you know with gas being like six seven dollars where I'm at it's uh, <laughs> I mean like why? <laughs> I mean uh, I'd rather sit in my house and you know get on the internet radio and listen to that Okay, we're gonna we're gonna blast through this real quick here. So so far, like I said, I'm I'm, I'm really pleased with this. It could it, the build experience can change at any given time, so we don't know yet. It can change at any given time. And then we have some round number two. One by or number one one by two plates. See, I get so confused on the plates that are in these sets. It's just there's so many new custom parts now. I'm trying to remember. It's not like a two by four brick, a one by two brick, a one by four by five door. You know, I, I, those I can remember pretty easily. It's this new stuff that I'm kind of like scratching my head all over here. All right, I'm missing one more of these here. Oh, there it is, right there, right in front of my big face. Okay. And then one of these. I've seen these used in trains and trailers and stuff, these weird molded pieces. All right. All right. Then you get the two holders. And then okay 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 we got to put some of these on here now yep like I said I wasn't kidding <laughs> lots of angular plates and snot bricks and stuff I mean they got you caked in here with these hey that's fine by me. I can always use those parts for making cars and trailers and stuff. So I'm not gonna be like, "Ooh, yuck!" There's plenty of these. That, you know, I'm, I'm gonna. I can use those parts. I can. I can harvest the parts out of this and use them. <laughs> All right. Let's see here. As long as the build is not monochrome and stuff, it's not too bad. You know, like this is. Look how colorful this is. You know, if it's red and yellow and gray and black. It's colorful at least. It's got some color to it. It's not bland and washed out and all that stuff. Because you get, for, well for me I get bored pretty easily. So, so far this is entertaining me. Plus this is designed for 10 year olds. <laughs> yeah, but it's still, it's still pretty fun to put together. I don't want to have to think, hey, my brain's turned off until February, so I don't want to think too hard. All right. All right. Then we have this here. And 
and then we got to put some slopes in here and some bricks. Yeah, bricks are hard to find anymore, especially black bricks are hard to get a hold of. So, yeah, I think I'm going to do is probably wrap this installment up with five just to keep it at five, ten, fifteen. We'll see. The sooner I get it done, the better. <laughs> then I can get back to my regularly scheduled programming. And take some of these building strategies along with me. It's like this is more like a throne. I mean, that's what that is. Alright, so here, whoops, is we got to make two of these. You just stick a gold plate in here. It's a gold one by one plate and a stud. I mean, this is some kind of a throne room. It looks like a throne. I don't know. Of course, it is a mech, so obviously. Probably the place where the uh, operator sits there. I don't know. We haven't we haven't gone that far yet. Okay. Okay. You know, I may have to get up and flip on my air condition. <laughs> Some people are freezing outside because it's cold, and I may have to flip on my air. All right, we got a sub 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 step. Yeah, it's like we're just building one of these. So almost similar to what we're making a, a propane tank for a trailer. And I think if I can't tell where it goes, this arrows make me think it goes on the top. No, it actually goes. You have to. I had to go and look at another page here to find out. You know, if you're doing that, that's fine. Um, there's nothing wrong with that at all. Just look ahead. Wait a minute. I think this might be a mirror. Before I start going in hardcore, it is a mirror. Okay, so let's just start blasting through this real quick. The reason being is so we can get the mirror out of the way, and then we can... Uh, this one here is closer to me. That's the one we're working on. And let's just build both of these real quick here. This will speed it right up, huh? We well, don't have to spend too much time on this. You know, Jay, but that's supposed to be the fun part. No, not when I have to build 20 million of them. It's not. It's, you know, if it's only two, it's... Uh, I think it's two's company, three's a crowd, but... You know, for me, this is th two's a crowd. Remember, this is the one that I'm working off of now. So we'll, put, we'll piece this together really fast, and then um, now we're done, right? So this here, um, goes right up against here. I thought this snapped into something. I think something snaps in that later. And the one we just built goes here. So see, I just saved myself some time, because we got to... We have to do it again now for that one. So I just saved myself some time there, and then that's it. It's all about um, you know how fast can you build these. Just read ahead in the manual. That will save you a bunch of time. Okay. You know, in school, they always taught us that read ahead. Yeah, I got to think of some stuff I want to do for Christmas. I have a Christmas, I have a few Christmas related uh, mocks that I uh, One Christmas mock I haven't started yet, but it's in my mind. But I have some tutorials for Christmas. So, no vehicles this time, sadly. I already got rid of all the vehicles for the year. Um, I'm working on a new vehicle, but I'm saving it for next year. Okay. Got the telephone bases in there. And yeah. Yeah, this has got lots of these here. Oh, I was going to say, we have pieces left, but am I missing something? Did I boo boo again? No, I did not boo boo. Alrighty, so far we got that done there. Looks just like the picture. Okay, good. And this thing goes on top of this, right there. 
Now just kind of dry fit it and match it with the pitcher. Don't press down, don't commit, because you, you don't want to have to take that all apart. Just take your time. There we go. Right on there. Let's see now. Some of the ingot pieces are on the face. And yeah, I mean, this is pretty intense for snot methods. <laughs> We're working every which way here. Okay, this goes on the bottom, right here, and still got two of these. Oh, I think they go here. Yes, they do. I couldn't tell with the way the manual is. They didn't have an arrow here or anything, so I couldn't really tell. I thought maybe they went here. No, but they went there. And this is what's remaining for bag four. We may go on to bag five. Okay, so here's bag, well, it's supposed to be five. We'll pretend it says five there. It doesn't have too many pieces, so we're going to keep going. And then that's it. I'm going to take a breather for this installment. <laughs> okay, so it looks like we're adding more to this piece here. And I'm going to be honest, so I like seeing these type of builds broken down into smaller pieces. You know, it's better to do it that way than just trying to guzzle it down, you know, and stuff like that. Some, you know, some builds are not like that. They're not user-friendly. So. All right. Well, I'm looking for some of these rounded pieces. Hope I didn't confuse another bag here. I mean, I got these. Oh, these right here. I need to order some more of these. These are really cool pieces to have. Just got to get them now. Huh? Just order a bunch. And then there's supposed to be a tan plate that goes in the middle there. And then uh, angle plates like that. Okay, at least lighten up some of the bulk in the, on the table. I just got to find this one here. Now, if you feel comfortable doing this, you can always sort by color in you know in bags. If you're doing this, stri you know, strictly for just a speed build through it, always swell. If you're speed building through it, you may want to sort the way the bags are, but if you want to make the build experience a little more smoother. There we go. A smoother building experience. Sort by color per bag. You'll really be able. You'll save you a lot of time later on. By all means, I'm no expert, but you know. Okay. And we have a shield piece. I think that goes in there. It looks like it does. So it looks like it just goes in there. And then we have some, uh, okay, pearl gold angle plates. So these go right here. Okay. All right, pretty good. And we need four of those. Let's put those four in real quick here. Yeah, so, so far this thing's got a lot of detail. Lots of little pieces. Not like one by one heaven or anything, but... Or something else, but... So far it's... Uh, come along, okay. Oh, look, we got hard pieces. Cool. I don't know what I'm going to use those for, but I can always use hearts. Get those in red, we could do a theme with The Legend of Zelda, huh? Or Minecraft. The hunger bar, or the health bar. Okay, we gotta make two of these. You even got these uh, ingots in this color, too, and you gotta make two of these special things. Yeah, this set's got a lot of pieces in some unique colors. That's pretty cool. 
And these go in upside down like that. Okay. Make two of these, so let's start pre preparing. Yeah, I can't wait to get this done so I can eat. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to make yet. Probably a, probably a steak or something. I don't know. Something yummy. Alrighty. Okay, so it's like that. And they go on the top. I think they're like that. Okay, yeah, they are. They're right up against this edge here. Well, it falls off. Be sure to hold it like that. Don't just set it down and start pushing things because you can see how unstable that is. There we go. Okay, so lots of these weird pieces. You gotta really be you gotta really pay attention here with this. I think I'm doing that the right way. Yes, and there's some upwards angular plates. They go here. I need this piece in other colors other than this light bright orange. <laughs> so hopefully I can get some more of those. But look how snotted off this is. I mean, we're building, we're literally building a plate on the face of this. Okay, now we got to build two of these. They're just clones of one another. I had a request for Star Wars mocks, and I've just, I've watched Star Wars, and there's a lot of things I'd like to build, but you all know how big my building style is. It would, if I build a Star Wars mock, it'd be pretty much minifig scale. It'd be too big to be, even be literally a tutorial, maybe a building guide, but that's pretty much what it would be here. Okay, take two of these. So now we're just building in pairs at this point, so we're going to have to pair it up. <laughs> Get it going here. Yeah, you can tell the difference if I'm awake to do these. So I'll probably do one later tonight. I'll probably be half asleep, but um, we'll see what we can do here. Okay, these go on the face right here. Just make sure I'm holding on in the back. Okay. I don't know, something looks kind of off, but well, that's how the picture is here. Yeah. Okay. I bet they're saving the bulk of the stickers for when I uh, when I'm half asleep. Alright, we're building something with nothing but this color here. Cool. I like this color. I like the blue-green. Make, make, a, make a vehicle that color would be pretty cool. That's almost the color of my car. So, maybe one day. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Probably not, but... And these right here are metallic silver. I'll show you the difference here. Here's pearl silver. Here's metallic silver. One's lighter. It, 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 it's got more of a, a sheen to it than this. So yeah, this set's also got a good... I don't know if I mentioned it, but it's got a good source of different styles of gold pieces. Okay. And then we got that there. And then we need two of these. Even got one of these in uh, metallic gold too. Um they show a shield. Oh, we need the shield, huh? Is there a gap under there, or does that get filled in? Uh, I think I boo-booed here. 
There's five. Okay, I think I made a mistake here. Okay, uh, I think I did. Uh, let me go back here a little bit here. This is... All right. So this is correct so far. We shoved these here. There was a... Oh, wait a minute. Okay, how silly of me. At least it wasn't too bad. This goes here on this lip there. Alright, that's like, okay, how's that supposed to go together? Then this gold piece goes right on top. Okay, I was like, I was like, you know, whew, I didn't really mess up that bad there. Very thankful. Let's put these in here next. Yeah, I kind of wish they would have sent the holiday stuff first before this one. At least I'm getting the big sets done first, but still, I'd like to uh, do the holiday stuff. Okay, so this is actually even with these tiles here like that. So as long as that's even on top, then we're going to commit to it and set that right down in there. And yeah, the oils from your hands will actually break down this finish, so... Try to minimize that. No, I'm not going to build this with white gloves or anything. I've seen some guys, they'll do this stuff completely with gloves. Uh, that's taken away from the hobby a bit here. You know, so what if you see fingerprints on my Lego bricks? You know, at least it's used. It's not like I just, I build it with gloves and set it inside of a, uh, a glass case. I've known some to do that. They buy a Lego set and just it's a shelf queen. It's a shelf hog. and uh, you know, This is going to just be used for review and then I get tired of looking at it. It's going to go into the parts bin. <laughs> or maybe we'll have some fun on TikTok with it or something. I don't know yet. We shall see. Okay, we've only got to build one of these here. Okay. Trying to keep everything in frame for you. Now this is all by all means not supposed to be a tutorial. Um, tutorials are only for like my ideas I like to preserve. Oh there it is. Okay, and there's a friction pin that goes in there. So far so good. And it looks like it goes like, like that. Okay, a sub, sub, sub step. We're only building one of these. And I see stickers coming up, and they're coming up fast. And it's something I really don't want to put a sticker on, but I'm going to have to do it. And it is on this thing. I have a lot of these, but they're great for making campers. Well, not today. We're going to have to put a sticker on that, and that's number 13. It would have been nice if that was printed. Okay. The red piece is supposed to go at the top corner. And let's see if we can get this on here without it hanging over the edge. So, usually when I review sets, they start at a 10. And when I have to put stickers on stuff like this, um, one of the things I grade on is, is everything printed? And when it's not printed, the ratings start dropping. I understand a sticker or two is fine. I usually let that slide. But when it gets to be a, a big, you're talking a binder full of stickers, it's, it gets to be too much. And the value for me drops down on review-wise. Okay, it's a fun bill, but you're going to have to put a lot of stickers on things. And it just makes the build less appealing. Because the stickers will appeal off pretty soon. They will, they will peel off eventually. You know. Like this thing here is kind of funky on how it is. 
you got to hold to the hold on to the bottom here because um, there's a lip here and this thing wants to slide around uh oh well wait a minute Oh, wait a minute, I'm missing some parts. All right, let's put this here. So these are the pieces I forgot. And uh, we'll put these here. See, this is already coming apart. So <laughs> this thing here is already uh, giving me issues here. And then we'll have to stick these here. Like that. Okay. And we'll have to put the curtains on and these plates. At least there's no stickers on the gold pieces yet, knock on wood. <laughs> and it goes on here. And then we got to make two of these, put these under here. We're almost done too, but you can see now we're doing all the little details here. And it looks like these go hanging over the edge. Like that. Okay. And this thing, we put a bunch of heart pieces on this. I think the hearts are supposed to face outwards. Somebody driving their junk car down the road. <laughs> and guess what? We're going to have to put gold or stickers on this gold piece. I don't normally use these, but yeah. So we're going to have to put sticker six on this side. We're going to start with six first. And yeah, I'd say so far this set's been dropped down to a nine, just the amount of stickers that are on it so far. And then the next one here is ten. And I really don't have any tricks on how to put stickers on bricks. You just have to just do it, you know. Just do it. <laughs> and uh, I mean, it's some especially the kids they could put stickers on pretty straight when I'm an adult and I'm literally just fighting stickers on an expensive set and then it goes on like that okay I think that's all that's remaining got one extra one of these whoops I don't know where that one came from Usually I hang on to the extra pieces because I may miss one later on. I've never known Lego to give you these for free. And then it goes on here on these snaps. Well, where does that go on anyways? Oh, these right here. Okay, this is going to be kind of not too fun. How do you put this both on here at the same time? <laughs> oh, wait a minute. They're supposed to hinge onto that. No, maybe not. What if I just press them down? Okay, these are not supposed to be hinging. They're just supposed to sit like this. So I think they're using it as a... Uh, as That just closes up. Well, it closes up pretty, pretty seamlessly, so I don't think I messed up there. And that's it. So this is all I have remaining. So I don't know if I missed a piece. Uh, I think I found it. It's supposed to go in there. <laughs> all right, we'll peel that off, and we'll shove that right in there real quick. All right. Okay. 
kind of getting impatient here. I'm getting hungry right now, and messing with something like this is not really helping. <laughs> I think that's it now. Okay. And that's it. So, bag six, looks like we're building mirrors of something, so we may be able to do those real quick. But we will save that for the next installment. So I hope everyone enjoyed this edition of the... What is this? The Monkey King something mech. Yeah, so that's pretty much what we left off at. <laughs> Thanks for watching.